Steve moved over to this side of town following a really difficult chapter in his life. I moved uh, last year uh, basically because I was having a lot of trouble where I was. And it was lockdown, so there was really nothing going on in the community and he didn't know anybody at all. With this coronavirus, I said, I can't stop in much more. I can't, can't even see my brothers, can't even see my mum, you know. I, said, I can't cope with it. And it did get me down. Thankfully, he'd worked with another local area coordinator in the area where he had lived before. And I chatted to him, found out what was going to be important to him in the new chapter of his life, really. And he showed me different places because I didn't know this area at all. And she just guided us through it when I was at a difficult time. Now, Steve's a gentleman with cerebral palsy, so he's got some mobility problems. And he was going to struggle to get to the GP surgery. That many medical practices, and I'm thinking, which one is it? <laughs> so what we did was we did like a practice walk from his flat. Penny, in her own wisdom, took Walters down and I found it. And we found that the route had a low wall nearly all the way, so it was somewhere that he could sit or hold on to if he needed to. So there's things like that that Penny's done that's helped us along, you know? And without Penny's help, I would have been stuck. I helped to connect him with things like a shopping service and we went on some short walks together just so he could see what was here and I have supported him with paperwork or repair issues in his flat. I think uh, important for me and for Penny was to get along, along together and work together as a team so that each and, each and every one knew what was going on. He knows that he can always contact me if he needs to, just pick up the phone. There's not many people like Penny, I only wish there were. There's many a time I've rung Penny and there's many a time she's helped us, no matter what. He's much more settled, he's at peace and he can just live a normal life now. I feel relaxed and I feel contented. <laughs>